Good day, little friends and storytime parents. Welcome to another storytime session with your friendly senior library tech, Miss Tiffany, at your MWR Community Library. Today, I picked some of my favorite stories to share with you, so let's begin. So, my first book is called Chicken Break Accounting Book by Kate Berry. Alright, friends, I might need some help with this. So, you guys can follow along and help me count. Here we go. One chicken standing guard. Two chickens scan the yard. Three chickens hatch a plan. Four chickens on the lamb. Five chickens tippy tiptoe. Six chickens incognito. Seven chickens smuggle the code. Eight chickens press upload. Nine chickens man the gate. Ten chickens peck and wait. Chickens make a chicken break. Uh oh, they're escaping. Oh no. Here they go. They're off. They're running through the pretzel cart. And they're going this way, roundabout. They have some red balloons. There they go. Ten chickens droop and drag. Nine chickens hail a cab. Eight and seven squish inside. Up on top, six now ride. Five chickens launch jetpacks. Four chickens zip line back. Three tunnel underground. Two chickens skydive down. One chicken leads the flock. Tiptoes up, pecks the lock. Chickens waddle to the coop, shushing, clucking, one last poop. Huddled tighter, big tail shake, chickens take a chicken break. Alright friends, before we stop the story, can you help me count the chickens on this page? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. The end. All right. Okay, so let's read my next book. And this next book is a little bit longer, but I think we can handle it. Are you guys ready? This is A Birthday for Bear by Bonnie Becker. Here we go. Chapter 1 Swish, swish, swish. Bear dusted his shelves. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Bear swept his floor. He was very, very busy today. Bear was always very, very busy on his birthday. He opened the door to shake out his broom, and there was Mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed. Happy birthday, Bear, cried Mouse. It's not my birthday, lied Bear. But it says so right here, says Mouse, waving a party invitation. Let me see that, demanded Bear. He peered at the card. It read, Dear Mouse, come to Bear's birthday at Bear's house today. Balloons and presents and birthday cake. This is your handwriting, protested Bear. You wrote it. Did I? asked Mouse most innocently. Yes, said Bear. He sounded quite certain. Mouse hung his head. Shameful trickery, he confessed. Terribly sorry, but perhaps we can have just a little birthday party? 
I do not like parties. I do not like birthdays. And I especially do not like birthday parties for me at my house, Bear announced. And he swept Mouse out the door. Chapter 2 Slop, slop, slop. Bear mopped the hallway. He heard a tap, tap, tapping on his back door. He opened the door and there stood a tiny delivery man holding three red balloons. Happy birthday balloons for a Mr. Bear, announced the delivery man. Bear narrowed his eyes. You are not a delivery man. You are a mouse. I can see your tail, declared Bear, pointing an accusing claw. Mouse hung his head. Deepest apologies, he said, but surely you would just like one balloon. It bats about quite nicely. I do not like balloons. I do not like parties. And I do not like birthdays, said Bear. He shut the door with a firm bang. Slosh, slosh, slosh. Bear scrubbed the counters and washed the dishes. He heard a rap, rap, rapping on his kitchen window. Bear opened his window. There stood a little postman holding a bright red envelope. A birthday greeting for Bear, said the postman, reading the envelope. Bear crossed his arms. You are not the postman. You are Mouse, cried Bear. I can see your ears. Appalling behavior, Mouse started to say, but Bear slammed the window shut. Chapter 3 Squidgety, squidgety, squidgety. Bear polished his living room clock. What a very, very busy day he was having. Bear pricked up his ears. It was a scritch, scritch, scratching sound coming from his fireplace. Onto the hearth bounced the tiny Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho! cried the little Santa Claus. A Christmas present for Bear. Christmas? Already? thought Bear. He reached for the present, then snatched back his paw. Wait a minute, growled Bear. It's not Christmas, it's my birthday. You said it wasn't your birthday. The little Santa looked very pleased with himself. Bear glared. Well, you are not Santa, he shouted. You are Mouse. I can see your whiskers. Ah, you are too clever for me, Bear, Mouse admitted. But still, you must like birthday presents. Everyone likes a present. Bear pulled himself up to his full height and roared. I do not like presents. I do not like birthday cars. I do not like balloons. I do not like parties. I do not like birthdays. And look, you scattered ashes all over my nice clean hearth. Bear trembled with anger. I am very, very, very busy today. It's quite a lovely present, Mouse said. And he sadly dragged it away. Chapter 4 Bear wiped up the ashes from the hearth. The hearth was shiny and clean. No mouse prints. Good. Bear swept up the ashes on the floor and whisked them out the back door. Mouse and the messy present were gone. Hooray! Squeak! 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 Bear scrubbed his window. No mouse in sight. Yes! Bear's paw slowed to a stop. Bear stared out the window. No one had ever given Bear a present before. Bear swallowed. He had noticed that it was an especially big present, too. He wondered what sort of especially big present it might be. Ding dong, went the doorbell. Bear opened the door. There on the stoop was a pink box. You don't fool me, Mouse. I know you're in there. Bear cried, springing open the lid of the box. But inside was just a cake, a big cake. 
with chocolate sprinkles on the words, Happy Birthday Bear and Chocolate Icing. I do not like birthday cake either, Bear announced loudly so that Mouse could hear. Bear glared into the bushes, looked behind the door, and peeked under the box. No postman, no delivery man, no Santos, no Mouse. Bear picked up the box and hurried to the kitchen. Bear glanced around and lifted out the cake. He swiped a paw full of creamy icing and was just about to plop it in his mouth when... Out of the cake popped Mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed. Aha! cried Mouse. You do like birthday cake. Bear looked down at the chocolate cake with the chocolate ice and chocolate sprinkles. I made it myself, added Mouse, with an eager flick of his tail. No one has ever made Bear a birthday cake before. Even so, Bear started to say, I am very, very busy today. But then he didn't. Chocolate is my favorite, Bear admitted. Mouse flicked his tail and whisked out the door. Wait, Bear cried. Quick as a whisker, Mouse was back. He tied three red balloons to Bear's chair, plunked a sparkly birthday hat on Bear's head, and set the especially big present on Bear's lap. Bear lifted the lid from his present. Crackle, crackle, crinkle. He parted the crisp white paper. In the box nestled a pair of shiny red roller skates, just the right size for a bear. Happy birthday, cried Mouse. Thank you, Mouse, said Bear gruffly. I've always wanted a pair of shiny red roller skates, Bear cleared his throat. Perhaps I don't mind birthdays at all. Then Bear cut a big slice of cake for himself and an especially big slice for Mouse. And Bear and Mouse ate the whole cake, every sprinkle and crumb. The end. What a great story. Thank you for sharing this special reading time with me, friends. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.